curious. All 15 victims. So they're all blood relatives then? Yes. All of the victims are direct descendants of Eva Stoller. Holocaust survivor. And anyone not related to her survived. Along with one grandchild who I think might be illegitimate. Therefore, not a blood relative. Or I suspect he would have perished too. Ostrich, can you come here, dear? What color is this? The blood? It's blue. Good. I'm not imagining it. Something has bonded with the hemoglobin in the blood, changing its color and robbing the body of oxygen. I believe these people literally suffocated from the inside out. Walter, no, that might... Be what killed him. No, that kept him alive longer than the others. Suspected temporarily weakened the toxin, but that still leaves the how. How was the toxin delivered? Mrs. Stoller, I understand that you were in charge of the guest list. Did you notice anyone who shouldn't have been at the wedding? Someone who wasn't invited? No. Of course, I don't know the bride's entire family. Although, my mother-in-law, she was very upset with someone before. A man? I had never seen him before. I thought she was just having a moment. If we showed you the wedding video, do you think that you would be able to point him out? I could try. It's Jasmine. Shelly picked out the scent. Represents happiness and love. Do you, do you mind giving me a moment? Of course. I'll help you with the video. Thank you. She just had all the rest of the candles in this place with Jasmine, right? Mm -hmm. Smell that. This one's cinnamon. And? Patient son. Just like when you were a little boy. Your mother used to say you had ants in your pants. Put that in the spectrometer. Okay. That's the man that Mrs. Stoller identified. Can you make it clearer? I can try. Uh, that's the best I can do. All right, well, upload it to the Joint Law Enforcement Database, and maybe we'll get a hit. All right. Hey, Walter. Come here, take a look at this. Oh, that is interesting. You are right. This is our toxin. This to be a variant of, what is that? Hydrogen cyanide. The candle would suggest that it was activated by heat and then dispersed into the air. Well, if it was in the air, how come it only killed some of the guests? Good question. What? Chemical weapons. Death by asphyxiation. The Nazis. I knew this was familiar. The Nazis? The Nazis were scientific pioneers. They attempted to advance every branch of science. Molecular bombs, flying saucers, eternal youth. Before DNA was even discovered, Joseph Mengele wanted to create a weapon capable uh, of targeting specific victims. A, a weapon capable of, of picking people out in a crowd, just like what happened here. It seems that science may have finally caught up Nazi ambition. Mrs. Stoller was a Holocaust survivor. Do you think that that's... Relevant? I, I don't know, Olivia. Uh, of course, I'm not saying that this is the work of the Nazis. Nor suddenly am I convinced that this was just a murder. A wedding. It's a perfect laboratory. You have your target group, the Stollers, and you have your control group, everyone else. You're saying that you think this was a science experiment? It's a theory. And one that I think I can prove. How? A scientist always tries to recreate his results.